Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and my gaming news series. This is where I like to talk about everything in the gaming press at the moment and bring you as much information as possible. So let's get on with today's video. So at the end of last week, we learned that Codemasters have purchased Slightly Mad Studios, the owners of the Project Cars IP, for a cool £30 million. They've taken the whole company, including the 150 staff. Now, Slightly Mad Studios is only 10 years old. They actually started off making a couple of Need for Speed titles for EA before moving on and successfully crowdfunding Project Cars. So to sell their company 10 years later for £30 million, I think is a huge achievement. And well done to the guys at SMS. It doesn't mean that it's all one way, though. Codemasters are getting a pretty good deal as well. The CEO of Codemasters, Frank Sagnier, had this to say about the purchase. Codemasters' acquisition of SMS will create a global leader in the racing genre. Their focus on AAA quality and the passion that they put into everything they create mirrors our own. Both companies have a number of world-renowned successful franchises along with exciting product development pipelines supported by leading IP and some of the best talent in the gaming industry. The enlarged Codemasters will have greater scale and reach, diversified, predictable revenue streams and the opportunity to bring outstanding entertainment to a far wider audience. We welcome Ian and his team to the Codemasters family and can't wait to start working together to create the future generations of racing franchises. Now this really does sound like it's a full integration of SMS into Codemasters and not just Codemasters chucking some spare money to buy up the competition and local talent. That full integration and working together could start with the Madness Engine. Now Project Cars is built in their own proprietary engine called the Madness Engine. It's a very good racing engine and it works perfectly with VR straight out of the box. In comparison, if you look at what the F1 franchise is built in, the Ego engine, that really is showing its age now and there's no VR capability. So it could be that next year's iteration of F1 could be built in the Madness engine and could have VR capability out of the box. So outside of the game engine, there are obviously other reasons why Codemasters will want to purchase SMS. One of them could be that SMS currently has three titles in development. The first of them is the much anticipated Project Cast 3. That's going to be huge for the racing genre in general. The next is a mobile version of Project Cars, which could go some way towards that reaching a wider audience that um, the CEO spoke about. Also, there's an unannounced or as yet unannounced title that SMS are working on based on a Hollywood blockbuster and that is probably going to be the Fast and Furious. So there are many reasons why Codemasters would want SMS. Now there are quite a few people in the racing community that are concerned about this takeover and how it affects their beloved Project Cars. Now Project Cars is quite a serious simulator. It doesn't pander very well to the newcomer. It gets you behind the wheel of these beasts in the most realistic way possible. So you're going to alienate quite a bit of the market base straight away. That doesn't fit in very well with what the CEO of Codemaster said about reaching a much wider audience. So there is concern that Project Cars 3 will become a much more watered down for franchise. There is also concern about the way that Codemasters like to monetize their DLC and microtransactions a lot more aggressive in Codemasters than it is in SMS and Project Cars. So there is also concern that a lot of the content for say a title like Project Cars is going to be held behind a paywall. So of course in the marketplace takeovers like this happen all the time and as consumers we're either not very interested or we rarely feel the impact but with gaming being so personal it is a concern that Codemasters being a public company have got shareholders that are going to want to reap that benefit of taking over a company like SMS as fast as possible and the best way to do that is look at the content that they're creating and look at ways to monetize it so there is a genuine concern. On the other hand, look at these two companies that are now joining forces to make our racing genre even better. Full racing pedigrees coming from each stable and it is only going to make it better, especially in the next generation with even more power behind our games. I suppose there's also the worry that you're taking a little bit of competition out of the equation as well. Now these companies are working together, they haven't got to fight each other and try and make the better game for us, the consumer, but I'm sure that's only a small concern. The fact that they're joining forces will only improve the F1 franchise. The fact that they're joining forces can only improve the Project Cars franchise with all that experience over at Codemasters. So the future for both of these companies is looking fantastic. 
But as always, the most important part of my news videos are what you think. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Do you think as consumers this will have no effect on the games we know and love? Or do you think merging forces will only improve what we've already got? What do you think about a Project Cars mobile game? And what do you think about SMS working on a possible Fast and Furious franchise? I would love to know what you think in the comments section below. But that is it everyone. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.